In 2020, the lives of three children were lost in a suburb in Makadi, the Benue state capital, when flood waters stretched between the BIPC quarters in Nyaman to Achusa village. <laughs> The cause of the flooding has been linked to the non-dredging of the rivers Benue and Niger, which has continued to plague surrounding communities year after year. In order to fix the problem, officials and management of Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission are at this stakeholders meeting to present statistics from the enumeration exercise of flood and erosion related audits. The is similar commission to also address the ecosystem of the devastating effect of exploiting water to get electricity. It's also affecting other people because we are gathering water together in a higher level, putting this water in higher level and controlling it. When there is a dam explosion, then there are going to be devastating effects, which this commission should also help to mitigate and support the environment and the community that are affected due to such exploitation. Having identified the root cause, the Benue state government suggests that dredging of the river Benue will address this problem. If we are talking about producing energy using water, of course you will say that one of the major water resources of this country is the river Benue. And today, River Benue, even in Makodi, is being overtaken by what? Sand is terribly silted. And I would have thought that one very basic necessity of your commission would be the advocation of what? Dredging of River Benue. Although the task is beyond its core mandate, the hyperdeck says it will take on the responsibility, but this will require about $20 billion. Hyperdeck has listened to what everybody has said, most especially the, His Excellency made mention of uh, Benue State being declared completely a hyperdeck state because of um, the problems which are peculiar in the several local governments uh, found across the entire state. We'll look into that and um, see the local governments or wards that are most affected. Chairman of the Governing Board assures the affected communities not captured in the fraud control process of further assessment to determine their risk factors. The survival of Bedway communities is in our hand. We should not expect any magic from somewhere else. No, but we have to show that these communities need the intervention. If addressed soon, dredging of the rivers will not only solve the issue of flooding plaguing the riverine areas, but also boost their economy by increasing access to port operations.